Hi, it's Tim from realwebsitehints.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to develop a website on DreamHost, but that's not on your normal domain. DreamHost is really cool because they allow you to use one of their subdomains to start developing your site. So let's go ahead and see how we do that. Okay, so where we want to go is we want to go up here to Manage Domains in your toolbox. And you want to go to Add New Domain slash Subdomain. And you just go ahead and you type in the domain you want right here. So we'll do website hints dash demo dot, and this is the important part, dreamhosters.com. And you want to just go ahead and select a user that you already have on your DreamHost account. Uh, in a more advanced video on hosting with DreamHost, I will talk about the different users and how to use different users effectively. But right now, we'll just use the user that you already have set up. And you want to make sure page speed optimization is turned off. It's going to be very frustrating when you're trying to develop your website and you're not seeing changes happen. This is usually why it's happening is this is checked on. Page speed optimization is great for making your site run faster for your users, but when you're in development mode, you want to make sure that this is turned off, which it is. Cloudflare is another caching resource, and once again, it is great for making your site run faster. I actually haven't had too many problems with this on while, develop, while doing site development, but it does cache your website, so it can create problems during development, so you want to make sure that's turned off, which it is by default. And yeah, that's all that you need turned on, so uh, let's go ahead and fully host this domain. All right, there we go. Um, in a few moments, it'll be added to the uh, hosting queue. You can actually just wait for this clock to turn off. Let's see if it's turned off right now. Yes, do a little refresh here of the page. Not yet, one more time. So after a few minutes, the clock here will turn off, and when it does, you can go over to one-click installs. I'm just going to try it anyways and see what happens, and select WordPress, custom installation, select the domain. So now we've got multiple domains here. You want to select this one, because if you select this one, it could, I don't think it will, but it potentially could overwrite any work that you've done on your other domain, so you want to make sure you select the right domain here. You want to make sure you uncheck the deluxe install. Deluxe install is a really nice idea of a feature, but we're about keeping things simple. And the deluxe install installs a bunch of plugins and a bunch of themes that you do not need. You want to keep it simple. Um, extra plugins, extra themes can pose a security threat to your site because there's just another way for hackers to get into your site is by themes and plugins that are not updated constantly. So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to uncheck the deluxe install and go ahead and do install it for me now. Aha, there we go. In a few minutes, uh, we will get an email uh, giving us the login information for the WordPress install at uh, rwh-dreamhosters.com, and then we can go ahead and create a user for that and start developing WordPress. Let's see if we got that email now. So after a few moments, you will get an email like this one right here, um, which will help you set up your WordPress site that you just created. So go ahead and click on that. And we'll create a title. And this site here is actually live on the internet, so as you make changes, you can be showing it to your colleagues or friends and getting uh, opinions on it, which is kind of the nice thing about developing online. And it's really cool that Dream Hosters gives you a place to do that where you don't have to pay for a domain. So let's go ahead and create a user. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to use LastPass for this one here also. Tim M, it's got all that. And email address. Whoops. And email address. And we'll uncheck the allow search engines to index this site because while we're in development, we don't really need the search engines uh, checking out what we're doing and seeing things going back and forth and changes being made. Um, it doesn't mean they won't search it, but it sort of hopefully doesn't mean they won't search it, but hopefully it helps. All right, let's install WordPress. All right, let's log into our sites.
Okay, so our site is uh, now online on the uh, Dream Hosters domain. So this is a really neat uh, tool that Dream Hosters has given you to be able to develop a site online without having to purchase a domain. And we're ready to go and start creating our WordPress website. Check out the description below for links related to this video. You can always go to realwebsitehints.com for a detailed blog post on the steps featured in this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the latest tips and techniques to make your web development easier.